there is a vein of steel in his voice that's impossible to ignore. So I let my arms relax, allowing him to pluck him, allowing him to pluck them away from my breast, pinning them to the mattress next to me. I press my lips firmly together as I feel his eyes running over me, leaving burning hot red trails in their path. The warmth of a blush spreads over my cheeks, down over my breasts. He takes in a deep breath and lets out of it very quickly. <laughs> oh, oh God, oh God. I'm not going to read these seriously anymore. It's just every fucking other paragraph. Perhaps you aren't worth my trouble after all. He murmurs. What's that supposed to mean? But perhaps we'll to make sure of that fact. Hmm? His weight crushes my breast, my breath, my breath. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <clears throat> this is very sexual, by the way. This is a very sexual chapter. Did not anticipate the sexuality of this chapter. When I just sat down to read this, <laughs> I was not thinking that this is what this was going to be about. And now I'm kind of regretting doing it. Um, hmm. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay, no, okay. I know where I was. I know where I am. Okay. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this gets really good. <laughs> I'm just like not talking, not reading, and you're like, I want to know what happened. Probably not. This is getting really gross. Am I really gross? I mean, meh. I think he's pretty creepy in, until later. This whole in the dark shit's pretty creepy. I mean, if you just break, break it down, right? Yeah. We're in agreement. Anyways, okay, his weight crushes my breath as he leans over me fully, coming so, so close. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've never. I've never mo done more than kiss a boy, and now I have to. With Lucy's Malfoy, of all people. I always thought that this. Would be about love and trust, not power and twisted games of hatred. And with Ron Weasley, not my parents' murderer. He's coming closer and I can feel his breath brush my lips. I close my eyes and... Nothing. HA! He breathes out the word in a tiny, angry rush. I didn't think so, somehow. You nearly got your way, didn't you? Filthy little muggle hole. I open my eyes. What? Pain rushes, rips across my face as he slaps me hard once, twice, again and again. My ears ring and cry out with each hit. Shut up, you little filthy mudblood! <clears throat> he mutters uh, viciously. You disgust me! He wrenches me up by my feet and throws me across the room. I stumble into the darkness and fall into something. Something hard and bruises and batters me. And there's a huge ringing crash. My dressing table... It must have been. The mirror's broken then. My hair tangled. My hand tangles in my hair, pulling me upright, and he punches me hard across the jaw. Technicolor fireworks explode behind my eyes. Stop, 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 slap. Please, Tom, please, please, please stop. Smack. I told you to shut up. He's lost his mind. I'm thrown to the floor and I crawl at stone stumbling away from him but he rolls me over onto my back and oh 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 my god please ow whoa 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 get off off oh sweet god it's just silly every single time she says anything oh uh, my heel grind his heel grinds into my open wound ow shit what the fuck the open wound on my shoulder <laughs> that's not it's not in the play I just I just that's how I feel inside right now um Tell me that you'll never behave so despicably again! I hear him hiss over him. My own cries of pain. Say it! Somehow, God only knows, I force the words out of me, hearing them ride into my sobs. I'll never behave so despicably again! Louder! It's not, fa it's not fair! I didn't do anything! I'll never de behave so despicably again! Oh, well, get off me, please! Oh. <laughs> His foot leaves my shoulder. I curl up on my side, trying to push the humiliating sobs back down inside of me. 
good, he murmurs. I press my fingers into the damp bandage, tasting blood in my teeth, tearing as my teeth tear into my lip. He takes a short breath. <sighs> you should avoid provoking me into rage, he says quietly, calmly. And you should certainly abandon the idea of using some cheap method to get around me. I won't tolerate that behavior from anyone, let alone a filthy my blood. I'd appreciate if you try to exert a little more self-control in the future. His footsteps ring across the floor. The door grinds open and slams. Is he? I cautiously look onto my room, and I can't see anything. Of course I can't. And so I listen. There's nothing there. Just a harsh raggedness of my own breathing. <laughs>